Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial of Get Plugins. In my last video, I showed you how to create color swatches from global attribute. But today I am going to show you how to create color swatches from custom product attribute. If you still didn't check my last video, then please do check my video. The video link will be given in the description box. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. To turn your variable product attributes variations into color swatches from custom product attribute, you need to install both the free and premium version of variation swatches for OCommerce plugin. To install the free version of the plugin, navigate to Add New from Plugins. Now search for Variation Swatches for OCommerce plugin by Imran Ahmed. Now install the plugin. The plugin has more than 200,000 active installations and plenty of 5 stars ratings. After completing the installation, activate the plugin. Now your plugin is activated. Now you need to enable the premium version of the plugin. To purchase the premium version of the plugin, go to the link gettoplugins.com. Click on plugins and click on variation searches for OCommerce. Now purchase this plugin. Once you purchased the plugin, then download the zip file of the plugin. After that, navigate to plugins, then add new. Click on upload plugin and choose the downloaded zip file of the plugin. Now install the plugin. Once the installation is completed, then activate the plugin. So both the free and premium version of variation searches for OCommerce plugin are installed and activated. To create custom product attribute, navigate to add new from products. Give the desired name of your product and give a short description of the product. Select variable product from product data drop down. Click on attributes. Select custom product attribute and click on the add button. Give a name of the attribute. In this field, you can add as many number of variations as you want. I will add red, green and blue variations for my color attribute. Don't forget to separate the variations by this bar sign. Give a check mark on used for variations. Now save the attribute. Now click on variations. Add variation will add each variation one by one. But create variation from all attributes will add the variation by making a combination of all the available attributes. For now, I'll go for create variation from all attributes. Now expand the variations. Price is the mandatory field for each variation. So make sure price is set for all the variations. Otherwise, variations will not show up in the product frontend. Now add featured images for each variation. First, I will add image for red variation, then green variation, and finally for blue variation. Now save the changes. Now click on swatches settings. Select color type for color attribute. Now expand the color attribute. Click on red variation and select red color from the color picker. Click on green variation. Select green color from the color picker. Finally click on blue variation. And select blue color from the color picker. Now click on save swatches settings button. Now set a product image by clicking here. This image will appear when no variation is selected. Now click on publish button. And go to the product front end to see the final result. So you can see color attributes variations are successfully showing their identical colors. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of the latest videos. If you have any query, please write it down in the comment section. Thank you.